truck route. back of my car so uh, as you can see we've got a fitness box we have a um, duffel bag some running shoes and um, some sport dogs pretty cool pretty cool girl don't make me dribble in front of everybody <laughs> I I may or may not have traveled Boy, pass that ball. I gotta do a slam dunk aroni. That is traveling. We both know it's travel. <laughs> Cheater! Watch this trick though. Oh. Yeah. Okay. I didn't want to go on the hoop. I want the ball back so I can do this. I think that went in. That did go in. No, it's, it's, you heard the net swish. <laughs> what are you gonna do, boy? Go do put put now. Call me Dennis Rod. Yeah! It's called pickups. It's going to the fucking JMB engine. <laughs> Do I look tough? I'll go and I can introduce you and everything like that, and then you can say whatever you want. You can talk about your sponsors, like your hobbies. No. I'm yeah. Good. I'm just here to have fun. I was drinking last night. Yeah? Went to bed at like three, doing it live. Nice, dude. I had some Chinese food, so uh -huh. you might be getting dusted with some MSG farts. <laughs> yeah. Uh, all right. So we're back. This is our fourth episode. We have done a little bit of rest before this, and now we're back in our last training block getting ready for Murph. Uh, we figured it'd be awesome to kind of get out there and test ourselves against some of the best athletes in the world, this being one of them. Also a guy from the military. So if you guys don't know who this is standing next to me, this is Robert Killian, two-time Spartan Race World Champion. Pretty much the greatest man in the entire world when it comes to running up to the top of a mountain, jumping over a fence, going through some barbed wire, and then getting back down to the fat to the bottom faster than anybody else in the entire world. There's a couple of double sandbag carries. A couple of double sandbag Give carries. Me a little bit of credit. A spectacular athlete, uh, special forces, army rangers, also best rangers champion. Uh, you're the fastest man to ever do Kona in the military. Uh, not the fastest, but in 2009 I was, I guess. Okay. Yeah. There's a cop uh, lurking in the distance over there, uh -oh. so you might have to pitch him on the fact that you it's are the, the, a... the filming, that's why. You think so? Potentially. Shoot. All right, you're going to have to hide that in your pants, okay? Everyone's just going to think you're stacked. Uh, <laughs> okay, so guys, today we are going to do a really awesome workout. It's going to be similar to Murph, um, but it's going to be a little bit shorter and more intense. Whole goal is to do one hard mile. This guy being super fast, he's going to be a great push for that. Uh, after that, we're going to do a 10-minute EMOM of 20 push-ups and 20 squats all within one minute. And then we're going to do that 10 minutes through and then go straight into that last hard mile. And our goal is to overwork our muscle groups so that we can uh, hopefully be fast on Murph Day. Nice. Yeah, I'm excited to see it. I think you're going to crush the challenge. I'm excited for an intense workout. I've been living in the mountains, so this will be my first speed workout of the year. A little bit of intensity. Yeah. Kick it off. Get it started. Rock and roll. There's a second cop car here. Honestly, I think they're coming for you. Oh, we're gonna get busted. <laughs> you think so? All right, let's get this thing started before we get yeah. cuffed. Shoelaces untied. But we're tied up before we start this workout. <laughs> we were there for three years. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah.
the last one in. 6.30? Yeah. My shoulders. Lord. Dude, when you leave, when you leave for that first lap, like your arms, your chest and your legs just feel like jello. Oh, my shoulders. Oh, ouch. Oh, my arms just need to lay overhead. What's up, dude? Good for you, dude. How's the squats and push up feel? I had to, after the first uh, five sets, chop it down to 10. Yeah. Oh. Uh, let's get it. What do you mean, get in the anaerobic? Really? Five, yeah. Wow. You never broke above your aerobic zone? I'll tell you right now. Good to show how fat I am. Wasn't pushing hard enough. <laughs> Got soft on me. Oh, what the difference between a TMX champion and a Spartan race champion looks like. <laughs> I'm just glad the Colorado Springs 5-0 didn't whip us off the track. Honestly, I think they saw us moving so fast, they're like, we can't catch them boys. They knew there was a new sheriff in town. Damn yeah, right. They're like, is that that undercover sheriff I'm seeing on the YouTubes? Uh, okay. Wait, wait. Yeah, come on, take it off. What happened to your uh, chest here? Honestly, sometimes I, I work out so hard and I'm running so fast, the friction just blows the hair right off. Right. I used to look like you. I'm pasty, white. I don't, I oh. think we're the same color. That's true. <laughs> I'm a little bit more translucent, Scottish. Um, all right, so here's the breakdown. We made the core block of the workout. He's, uh, basically that meant like 20 push-ups, 20 squats in between. The last round I literally got to like the 58th second on my uh, squats. And how'd you feel? I had the first five, I was able to barely maintain pace and then after the fifth set I was falling behind and it was either a choice of am reps or cut reps so I wanted to try to keep pace with the workout so I did 10 push-ups instead of 20 and then was able to still knock out the lunges and then make time and try to catch up on the run there you go. lunges what are you talking about squats squats sorry, sorry squats. this is the first time working out guys um so just from a, I mean, you bring such a talented runner, from a runner standpoint, how do you feel about that starting lap and that finishing lap? Do you think those are pretty good paces? Yeah, I think the pace is good. That very first or even second lap after the core exercises was just a smoker. Yeah. Like you get out on that first hundred meters and you're just like jello legs, jello arms, trying to figure out a good pace. But uh, it's the last event, so you want to try to push it and go all out and yeah. just leave it all out there so you can make up time on the, the final run. But it's all about pacing. Yeah. Okay. Probably. So, if I had to put you in shape right now, running shape for between now and when you're in shape for Tahoe, where do you think you're at? Like Tahoe is a ten. Where are you at now? Like a five. You're five. I would say halfway there. Oh Christ! You make me feel fat and slow. You should have said at least a nine. No, we're only in May, so I still have another seven months before the next World Championship. So I'm just trying to ease into things. Just That's been my problem. The past few years is trying to do too much, race too often, and just really overtraining and uh, been injured so I'm trying to just pick and choose the biggest races out there and focus on those. Yeah, how much do you run in a weight vest? Um, I usually do weight rest runs maybe once a week or I'll do like resistance wear bands um, just to have less impact but uh, it just it just all depends. I mean I feel like if I'm doing a lot of mountains um, that's compensating for the weight vest the, the elevation gain it really works on your lower back so if you have that weight vest on an uphill run. Um, I don't like to do it more than one day a week because it really leaves your lower back sore. A lot of people don't realize that when you're running uphill, you're slightly hunched over and it'll really identify if you've been doing your, your work in the gym on your back or not. Yeah, okay. Do you think if you had to do the Murph workout, mm -hmm. what, if, what would you peg your time to be? With the 20 pound weight vest? Yeah. I, I don't know, I don't have a baseline. I would say I would, I would shoot for under an hour. Okay. Are you going to do it on Memorial so, Day? I will be doing another competition. Um, I'm going to be doing the tactical games that weekend. Are you going to donate to our charity? I will donate to RWB. So that's a, a very good cause. And I think it's, uh, yeah, it's good to get out there and raise awareness for Murph and do the workout. Um, you know, there's a lot of military veterans who have died in combat or, you know, when they get back home from PTSD. So. I think it's a good cause to go out and do something like this and to donate to whatever organization or you know just get out there and push your goals test your limits and see what you're capable of so i think i'll get it done maybe the day after i'll send uh like your style see that 
just get it done no matter what. But uh, unfortunately, yeah, I got a competition that day. But uh, that doesn't stop you guys from getting after it, right? Appreciate you saying that. All right, guys, we're finished at the track. We're probably going to go have some more fun. But uh, if you want to continue to follow this, obviously, we're going to continue to post links. We'll post a link to the charity. Also, if you guys want to check out Robert Killian, he's always doing amazing stuff. Probably the most talented athlete at the uh, beast distance in the entire world. And we're going to be seeing him coming out in Dubai uh, this fall, racing out there for Spartan Race World Championships again. So, guys, make sure you tune on his channels as well. And uh, appreciate you guys watching. Yeah, take it easy. Show me one push up. Decent. Better. More core. Those are good.